what is Cherry Rock? <laughs> Cherry Rock is a brand experience agency, and I believe it's the world's first music-based management, marketing, and massage company. Yes, we do client management and brand management, but also we do artist management um, across all areas of popular culture with an emphasis on uh, music, which is our passion at Cherry Rock. Our team offers brand direction, strategic direction, good design team, events, PR, advertising, interactive, sponsorship, pretty much the full 360 degree globe of marketing services across our 360 beautiful square meters here at Cherry Rock. Like, I suppose Cherry Rock's like a mullet. It's uh, business up the front and party out the back, which one day will be an above board <laughs> massage and therapeutic spa offering for my staff, for my clients, for you. Well, I've been the uh, managing director of an advertising agency and several independent music companies, and the reality is record companies and advertising companies are losing their relevance. The public are less interested in those things. They don't want to see what you've got to show them. They don't want to hear what you've got to say. What they actually want to do is feel what you stand for, what you believe in. And one of the best ways for brands to show their customers what they stand for and how they feel is to use music to create memorable and powerful brand experiences. So companies are willing to spend a fortune on their visual identity, their look and feel, but it surprises me that they don't also think about the importance of an oral identity. In other words, what does your company sound like? Now, if your company happens to be rebellious and fierce and uh, anti-establishment, then maybe your sound something like the Sex Pistols and Rage Against the Machine with a big fuck you sort of feeling to it. Or if your um, you know, family values, or maybe say it's environmental or carbon neutral, and maybe you'll sound something like Jack Johnson or uh, the John Butler trio. When people hear this sound, they automatically get a sense for what you believe in and what you stand for. And the question really is, I mean, what does your brand stand for? What does your brand sound like? Music is a constant in all our lives. We may have different musical taste, but music is with us from cradle to grave. And the music you choose to listen to, the concerts you choose to go to, the t-shirts you choose to wear, they all say something about you. You're actually painting a brand self-portrait. In some respects, I truly believe that um, you know, the music you choose is really like the tribal stripes you used to paint on your face. Most brands strive to be cool, and let's face it, music is cool. When Giselle, Brazilian supermodel, arrived in Australia recently, she was wearing an ACDC t-shirt, and uh, like one of my favourite bands, The Ramones, a punk band from New York, you know that they've sold more t-shirts than they have sold records, and that's because the world over, young and, let's face it, not so young punks, want to wear that t-shirt to show that they're a part of that tribe, that, that like the band, they believe in being different. You know, hey ho, let's go. Oh! 